Arowanas are a species of fish that are part of the ancient family of Osteoglossidae. This group of fish are sometimes, rather strangely, called bony tongues because of a toothed plate of bone that they have on the lower part of their mouth, inhabiting the inland waters of South America, Southeast Asia, and Australia. These fish have elongated bodies covered with large scales and a distinct pair of barbells protruding from the tip of their lower jaw. Because of their looks, arowanas are also sometimes known, especially in Asian countries, as dragonfish or shue long in Mandarin. Folklore tells us that arowanas bring luck, since they resemble a traditional Chinese dragon. They're highly predatory fish that you'll often see elegantly patrolling the surface of the water. Arowanas can live over 20 years in captivity. That's more than most domesticated dogs. There have even been unconfirmed reports of arowanas living to nearly 50 years. With that in mind, there's no denying that keeping an arowana is a long-term commitment, probably the most sought-after and popular freshwater monster fish in the world, the arowana even makes an appearance in literature and is cited as the world's most coveted fish in the book The Dragon Behind the Glass by Emily Voigt. Types of arowanas While there are only six species of true arowanas, there are plenty of geographical and naturally occurring variants as well. South American arowana Let's go through some that originate from South America. Silver arowana Osteoglossum bicerosum The silver arowana Osteoglossum bicerosum, is the largest of, of all the arowana species, capable of growing to three and a half feet in length. While it is the biggest arowana, it's also known to be one of the most docile as well. Black arowana, Osteoglossum ferreri, black arowanas closely resemble the silver arowana in both shape and size. As juveniles, black arowanas have a distinct black band covering the length of their body, however, as they mature, this band slowly disappears, leaving their body with a slight tint of purple, which is most prominent towards their anal fin, bulala. Compared to the silver arowana, they grow considerably slower and also have a more slender body. Black arowana, Osteoglossum ferreri, black arowanas closely resemble the silver arowana in both shape and size. As juveniles, Black arowanas have a distinct black band covering the length of their body, however, as they mature, this band slowly disappears, leaving their body with a slight tint of purple, which is most prominent towards their anal fin, bulala. Compared to the silver arowana, they grow considerably slower and also have a more slender body. Australian arowana, Sclerapages jardinii, native to both Australia and south-central New Guinea, the Australian arowana is one of two species of arowanas that come from this region. Their body is covered in copper-colored scales accented with small pink edges, which sometimes appear as pink spots on the fins. Similar to its silver sibling, the Australian arowana has the potential to grow to almost three feet in length. Most consider the Australian arowana to be the bad boy of the arowana world due to their tendency to wear leather jackets and drive fast motorcycles' fiery temperament. Because of this, keeping Aussie arowanas in a tank with others can be a real challenge. While some have certainly succeeded in keeping them in communities, most Australian arowanas won't tolerate tank mates once they reach 12 to 14 inches in size. Saratoga, Sclerapages lycardi, the Saratoga lives within the Fitzroy River in east-central Queensland, Australia. These lil' guys are probably the least known arowana species and are usually only kept by hardcore arowana fanatics, I see you, dudes, dot. They closely resemble the Australian arowana in both size and appearance. However, the pink coloration towards the edge of the scales is way more prominent and widespread with the Saratoga. Asian arowana now on to the Asian arowanas, green arowana, Sclerapages formosus, you'll find the green arowana living at the Nami Dam in Malaysia. Colloquially known as the Asian arowana, it has a pale grey coloration with a slight tint of green, especially towards the edge of its fins, this Asian arowana has shorter dorsal and anal fins than South American arowanas and can grow up to around 3 feet in length. Yellowtail arowana Sclerapages formosus, the Banjar arowana is native to Banjarmasin, 
Borneo. This particular species is pretty distinct, in that its dorsal, caudal, tail, and anal fins are yellow while the rest of its body has a yellowish-slash-greenish tint, red tail golden arowana, sclerapages formosus, the red tail golden arowanas, also known as RTGs, can be found within the Sayak River system in Pekanbaru, Indonesia. Golden arowana, sclerapages formosus, probably the most famous Asian arowana of all, the golden arowana is one of the most coveted ornamental fish around the world. A golden arowana that has a fully golden head as well as the crossback coloration is known as the elusive golden head full helmet crossback and is the most expensive and prestigious type of golden arowana. When it comes to this Asian arowana, the more intense the gold coloration is, the more desirable they are to aquatic hobbyist. Red arowana, Sclerapages formosus. The majestic red arowana naturally occurs in the waters of Lake Santarum in Kalimantan, Borneo. Its distinct red color and similarities to a dragon is reminiscent of the common Asian symbols for luck and prosperity. The superstitious among us might believe that a red arowana would bring luck and prosperity to its owner. Red arowanas are fiercely sought after, thanks to their gorgeous red color and unique appearance. Batik arowana Sclerapages inscriptus, the batik arowana originates from Myanmar and closely resembles the green arowana in both color and looks, but the batik arowana is a special fella, it has very distinct scribble markings all over its body, markings which are said to resemble the tribal war tattoos of ancient Polynesian civilizations, because of this, the batik arowana is becoming more and more popular amongst aquatic hobbyists. African arowana Heterotus niloticus, the African arowana can be found in tons of locations around Africa, specifically within the Chad and Nile rivers. Its appearance is different from any other arowana we've discussed so far. It has a distinct round head and a downward pointing mouth and there's a very good reason for this, African arowanas are sand sifters. They feed by sifting through sand for crustaceans and other mollusks.